hey everyone okay in this video we will uh, view uh, reports and see what sort of reports we have introduced in this in this new version on was 3000 web v 3.0 so let's go to reports first option is Syria report okay we'll go there here we can see all the CDR calls which are connected now CDR is very important to you know troubleshoot the issues and to calculate the revenue expense and the profit right now in this section you can only see the connected calls when you come to this to this page if you want to see the failed calls you need to go to search option and select failed option okay and here we have some other options like you can change the date time and date and the time you can change the time zone to which time zone you are in and you can select the time zone from here and you can change the you know call status to fail if you want to see the failed calls why the f calls are being you know failed on 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 routing gateway or by any other reason you can enter the uh, account name here caller number callee number and prefix that you want to see so let me check the failed calls okay we have few failed calls let me show you one by one this customer had a failed call on this call uh, on this number on this date and time and the reason was process timeout uh, was has different uh, end call reasons which will help you to identify the the failed call reason why the call was failed since uh, as we know uh, these calls are being answered by a robot server and uh, we are sending calls on a, on a huge level and uh, some of the calls are, are just being uh, processed time out on this route uh, on this routing gateway now we have one more call coming from this IP address on this number and the call was illegal the illegal call means that this was this was a call from unknown source like this IP address is not added in your mapping gateway so once any any call come from unknown source which which IP address is not you know in the mapping gateway that call is considered as illegal call okay now okay next you can export the calls by clicking export button select the separator I'm going to use comma separator and I'll export it okay save the file and I'm just going to open it here are the you know logs for failed calls which I can export from my CDR next we have mapping analysis okay uh, here is the uh, you know analysis page we have gateway name IP address total calls and their unconnected calls and connected calls we have talk time ACD and ASR this page will give you overview of your selected filter or search mapping analysis all right next go let's go to next routing analysis this page will give you overview of your routing 
gateway analysis. We have two uh, routing gateway and their IP addresses are same. Actually, this is for test server and we have defined, you know, uh, these given analysis for today. You can change the date and time and have the records on you know defined dates we have quality mapping and uh, analysis if you know quality rules on mapping gateway are, are turned on these logs will be maintained automatically by after every four hours if you haven't watched the video how to turn on you know uh, mapping gateway quality rules then watch the video you will have the you know complete understanding similarly we have quality routing analysis again if you haven't watched the video how to maintain you know quality rules on routing gateway please watch the video of vendors there you can see how to you know uh, define ASR or ACD on each routing gateway. Here you can see the logs by every four hours. This will maintain automatically and it will, be, it will help you to identify by every four hour which routing gateway performance is going high or getting lower. So this feature can really help you to understand what's really going on on your routing gateway and it will also, uh, all, it, this will also change the you know priority if you have set the option in uh, you know routing gateway then we have online payments if you have enabled uh, you know uh, paypal uh, on your account then all payments which are paid by your customers will be automatically maintained on these reports so right now I don't have you know any records with online payments by PayPal so this there is no record found okay so that's it we have seen uh, the different and new reports that we have uh, recently you know introduced in our new version of VOS 3000 web 3.0 this conclude our this video see you in the next video bye bye